there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, May the 6th through to the 12th. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have Major Arcan, the Hangman, in the upright position, followed then by the King of Swords reversed, followed then by the Ace of Swords reversed. And next we have the Seven of Swords in the upright. And lastly, we have the Eight of Wands upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, you have that of Major Arcana, the Hanged Man in the upright position. The Hanged Man is where we need to sort of lay back and just wait on a situation to perhaps turn. Maybe we need to look at the situation or the relationship or however it's playing out for you because it's just a general read. We have to look at it from a different perspective. That's the whole purpose of the hangman, sort of going into that introspective state where we have to sort of look at something, maybe something is unclear, maybe something is not working, and we need to just sort of go into that little bit of uh, suspended energy just to look at things from a different perspective. So coming right off the hop, you have the energies of the King of Swords in the reverse position. The King of Swords in the upright position, this is a court card, so it does represent, or it could represent a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. The King of Swords in the upright position, this can also represent somebody involved in a legal, uh, a legal profession, such as a police officer, uh, a lawyer, a judge, or something like that. Now, when he's in the upright position, this is a person who is all about the truth, telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Um, and he is a very good communicator. Now, when the card is inverted, however, this can represent um, somebody, sometimes the King of Swords in reverse will come up when we're being ghosted by somebody or we can't get a hold of someone. Say, for example, this is your lawyer and you're trying to reach them. They could be unreachable at this time. This can sometimes represent don't do anything like park your car too close to a fire hydrant or anything like that, uh, Taurus, because this could represent where you could get a ticket or something like that. Uh, for others of you, this could represent maybe um, a bad communication coming from someone or someone's communicating something that you don't like or you don't want to hear, especially when it's paired up with the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. The Ace of Swords can represent a situation that is not clear. We need to find some clarity in the situation because it, even if it's a conversation, say for example, maybe we're conversing with somebody and the things that they're saying are, are confusing us. Maybe that's why you're in the hanged man energy, laying back, just sort of looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe what this person is communicating is confusing to you, um, Taurus. Uh, for others of you, this could just be a cut down, a cut back in communication, and you don't understand why they are not communicating or why they're not coming forward at this time. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we have the energies of the Seven of Swords in the upright position. The Seven of Swords, this is known as the little sneak thief card. It can represent somebody just sort of sneaking off. Maybe that's this person that you're trying to get a hold of. Maybe this person is avoiding you. Uh, this is a lot of times uh, avoidance energy. This is where we're either trying to avoid a situation or a person. Um, or vice versa, vice versa, maybe a person is trying to avoid us. I do see um, a lot of potential for that in the early part of the week. It does look like maybe you're trying to communicate or get effective communication going as in the eight of, uh, Ace of Swords in the upright position, but you're just not having any victory with that. You're not having any luck with it. You're just, for whatever reason, somebody looks like they're stonewalling you or they're not saying the things that you want them to say. That's why I think you need to just sort of hang back. If that's resonating for you, Taurus, I would suggest with the hang band being here that you maybe just wait out your time, try not to be impatient and just wait out the situation and see it maybe from a different uh, point of view. And the last card you have up is the complete opposite energy, the Eight of Wands in the upright position. It's like now you're getting lots of communication coming through. The Eight of Wands can also point to its weekend uh, energy. It could point towards travel. Maybe some of you are planning on taking a trip, a short trip, a weekend trip, 
or even start a vacation or something at this point. If that's the case, it looks like a very fast takeoff. Um, communications will all start coming through. If It looks like, too, if this person is not communicating with you in the beginning of the week, it looks like there's a big turnaround right at the end of the week. So hang in there, Taurus. Um, I'm not sure what this what's going on here. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below if this is resonating for you. But yes, that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.